Okay, hello again YouTube. Uh, Shall I post a little uh, little update video about the solar setup? Um, I'm using my new uh, new video phone, so I'm not sure how this is going to come out. Um, during the winter, uh, we had a mains power wire going from our garage here down to the shed for heating, uh, just because the solar power wasn't quite enough. Um, we've now reversed that, so we've now got power coming from the shed back up to the house. Um, I don't have a grid tie inverter yet, so I can't actually plug it into the house circuit, so I've had to keep it separate. But right now, we've got um, we've got our digital radio running on it. Um, also got a picture frame running on it, and we've got the two mobile phones charging. Um, also got this fan running off it to uh, try and keep the conservatory cool. Um, and this wire is just coming out of the conservatory, along the garage, and just down into the shed. Um, in terms of technical things, we haven't changed anything yet. Um, going to be saving up. I think the very next thing we're going to buy is the bigger inverter for the shed so that my dad can run his lawnmower off it. Um, and then I'm also going to be buying a grid tie inverter. So on a day like today, where we are actually generating more power than we're using, um, we can put it back into the house electric. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a hybrid solution in the end, I think. A big inverter down here for him to come out here and mow the grass with. Um, and then a bypass circuit, which will allow me to plug the whole solar power setup straight into the house um, to use up excess power. So if we go in here now, it's so nice to sit inside. Uh, got this radio on as well. I'll just turn that off for the moment. Um, you can see here we've got this plug, which is running out the shed, and it's basically just going up to that setup I showed you. Now, right now it's uh, I think it's July the uh, sorry June the second, and we're making, if you can see that, we're making about 80 watts on our panels which isn't too bad. So that means between the big one on the roof and the uh, small one up here, so between these two, uh, we're getting 80 watts, which isn't too bad. I mean, it's 100 watts each. Um, I'm pretty impressed, actually. Between the two of them, it's an 80-watt panel and a 20-watt panel. But if you watch this meter tick by, I've got... Um, it keeps track of the highest values it's seen. And the highest value it's seen was 109.7 watts. Uh, it ticked by just then. I'll let it uh, just tick by one more time. You can see my lowest voltage. There you go, 109.7. So, uh, yeah, at the moment we're, we're generating about 80 watts. Um, with this stereo on and the one up there on with the fan and everything else, we're pulling about 120 watts out of the system. But the thing is, we're only going to be in the house for a couple of hours a day before we go out, so the system will easily recharge itself. Um, so yeah, just a, just a real quick update for you guys. Um, like I said, the very next step now, because we do need it, is a bigger inverter here, you know, bigger than this one here, so that he can run his lawnmower off and use it in the garden. Um, and then as a kind of separate uh, project almost from this point here this is where the solar panels come in I'm going to take two wires over here into a little switched junction box and into a grid tie inverter and then similarly to this thing here that's going to be plugging into the grid tie inverter and just going straight into the house house wiring so, on a day like today, if we've got more power coming in than we're actually using, I can just come down to the shed, flick a switch, and all of the power from the panels, instead of just being wasted, it'll go into the grid tie inverter, and then up and into the house, uh, nice and safely. So, at the moment it's a little bit of a bodge, just using an extension lead on a separate circuit, but hey, at the end of the day it's still free power. So, uh, yeah. Um, please excuse the lack of uh, intro music as I normally have, but uh, I'm getting used to my new phone and uh, 
just thought I'd try this out. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll keep you guys updated.